Good morning. This is Miss Morrow at College Street Elementary, and we had an overwhelming response to our videos yesterday on YouTube, and I had some people ask for things that their pre-kindergartners and kindergartners could do while they're at home. So today we're going to talk about subitizing. Subitizing is a very long word for knowing how many there are without counting. For example, how many is that? Yeah, you know that's one. You don't have to count it. But as you get older, and you want to supertize that. Do you know how many that is without counting? That's what we're going to do today. So to do this at home, really all you need is your fingers, and you have those already. And then you're just going to think of numbers and show them to your parent, or your parent's going to show numbers to you, and you say them as fast as you can. So for example, this is, and this is, and this is, those are all ways of showing the number three. To make it an activity, you can trace your hands on paper and then cut them out. And if you are working with a four-year-old or a five-year-old, you might want to start with supitizing numbers that all go up to five, so just on one hand. But then as you're working with, as your kids catch on to supitizing numbers one through five, and they can read them and say them without counting, then you might want to go up to two hands and use those two hands. Once you get good at supitizing numbers one through ten, then we're going to use flashcards, and I'll show you those in a minute. So one of the ways that you can supitize easily is knowing that this is a five. And with the kids that I work with, we call this a fast five. So if you're watching this, show me a fast five. You ready? Go. That's a fast five. Because I know this is five, that means when I put a bigger number up that's bigger than five, I don't have to count all of them. I don't have to count one, two, three, four, five. I know that's five. So I'm going to start at five and keep counting. So this would be five, six. Or I could show a fast five and three more. And I know that's five, six, seven, eight. So that's a fast eight. So the idea of subitizing is that you know how many there are without counting. So we're going to do some cards to see if you know how many there are without counting. Are you ready? Did you say 11? There's a fast 10 and one more. So one more than 10 is 11. Let's do another one. And another. This one's hard to see. It shows this. How about this one? Or this one. Now we're, oh, here's another one. How about this one? That one's pretty easy. What about this one? This one showed a fast five with four more. Now that you know how to supertize numbers smaller than 10, we are going to supitize numbers bigger than 10. So here's our last number smaller than 10. It's our fast five. So now we're going to do fast tens. Can you show me a fast 10? Go. So that's a fast 10. So these cards have lots of fingers. You would have to cut out lots of hands from your paper to make these cards. This one shows 10 on top and 10 on bottom. This one shows 10 on top and 2 on bottom. So I don't have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, because I know that's a fast 10. So I'm going to say 10 and then count 11, 12. So that's a fast way to supitize. How about this one? Or... a fast 10. What about 
about this one? This one's kind of tricky. Notice you have your fast 10 on top, but on the bottom, the thumb is down. Can you see his thumb is down? So how many is on the bottom? What number does that make all together? How about this one? I have a fast 10 on top and a fast five on the bottom. Last one. Fast 10 and seven more. Okay, so that's how you subitize with your fingers. We're gonna do another video later that shows how you can subitize using objects, dice, dominoes, and other things that you might have around your house. See you later.